Hey everyone, today we are going to talk about another great WPF control and this guy is called status bar. Alright, so um, for this tutorial we are going to use some of the stuff we had left over from previous demo which was about the uh, progress bar. Okay, uh, let me run this and uh, see what we had. So I get a button, progress bar, and originally I had a list box here on the right hand side. I removed that one. And instead I moved the image from left side to the right side. And if I click this button, my uh, slideshow kicks in and progress is the progress bar. Okay, that being said, let's dive in with the status bar. Alright, first thing I'm going to remove all my grid and everything inside there. Cut and paste it over here and then comment this stuff out. Next, I'm going to add a dark panel to my window. And inside my dock panel, the first child element is going to be a status bar. Open close. All right. So status bar, since it's the only child, it's taking the whole space of the uh, dock panel. So I want this to actually dock to the bottom. Now notice, even though I set it, it's not going to change. And if you remember from my dock panel tutorial, the first child, if it's the only child, it's going to take up the whole space unless you set the uh, height and width. Okay. Um, but uh, that's going to change as soon as we have the second child. So if I go ahead and add an image here, and it's going to dock the status bar all the way to the bottom. It's a thin line. And the image will take up the rest of the space. Okay. So now inside my status bar, I'm going to add a child element. And that child is a status bar item. And inside here, I want to bring in the button first. The button that was used to start off the slideshow. So I'm going to copy that in the previous example and paste it in here. So now, since I have the button here, my status bar is visible too. Okay. Next, I'm going to add another child element. And place a text block inside here that's going to say loading. Okay. Then I want to bring in the uh, progress bar. So add another child element. And I'm going to copy and paste my progress bar, which is residing inside a grid along with another text block that gives the percentage. And paste it right here. Okay. I'm going to make a couple changes with this. First, I want to change the font weight, remove it actually. I don't need that. I don't need the font size or the text block. And I want to change the height of the progress bar to a width and make it wider. So, width, and I want this to be like 300. Okay, that's much better. Okay. Next, I want to add another text block here that's going to later on display the file name for me. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. So, another child element and text block. 
I want to give this to name, give it a name to be able to reference it later. I'm going to call this txt fn for full name for file name. All right, and like I said, I'm going to reference this later in the code behind to set the text property. All right, let's um, see if we have any errors. I get one here because image doesn't have a name. So I'm going to copy and paste the name from old image to new image control. That should take out that error. One, two, three. Yep, there you go. All right, so let's test this out. I click this button, my slideshow starts. Beautiful. All right, next I'm going to increase the files, uh, the font size on the bottom here. And then we'll work on how to get the second text block to display the uh, file names as slideshow continues. Right, so font size, since status bar has a, a font size property, I can set, set the font size here. That's going to affect all the items inside the status bar. So now we technically, basically we change all the font sizes in one shot. All right, that, that takes care of that. Let's go to code behind and let's get the uh, file names. So first I'm going to create a variable that's going to um, actually let me uh, yes, it's called var uh, pet equals images i that's going to get me the file pet let's put a breakpoint right here and let's run this if i click this and check this out and it's giving me the full pet of the file so now what I want to do, I want to split this into several pieces and grab the uh, last part, which is going to be the file name. So split inside the brackets. Um, I want to pass in a character that's going to be backspace. But since backspace is a special character, I need another one to escape that, uh, just treat it as a string, well, uh, just a character, a char. All right now, if I try this again, it should give me an array of strings. Check this out. And the last one is the file name. So I'm going to grab that from that array. And in order to do that, I'm going to add another variable. Call this fn for file name. And call the path variable and say inside my square brackets, I want to say path dot length minus one, and that's going to get me the file name. All right. If I run this again. And fn gets me the file name. It says 005png. And that's what you can see on the bottom here too. All right, so now we have that file name. I want to set the uh, txt fn.txt to fn. And that should take care of the second text block. Okay, let's test this out again. And let's click. And now we have the 
file name displayed here along the images and uh, our progress bar here. So it's all working in sync again. All right. Let's, um, let's go a little fancier and add a separator. So in between each child element here, I want to add a separator and to make it look a little nicer. So separator, and close it out. I'm going to copy and paste this couple of, a few times between each child element. I think that's it. Let's add one to the end too. Actually, no. Last one doesn't look all right. So I get rid of that. Okay. Let's try that again. Now we have our separator is a single line, vertical line that separates, you know, kind of two controls. I'm not sure, maybe we should increase the thickness. I can increase the thickness. Yes, you can, but uh, I'm going to just leave it at default. I think it's, uh, I mean, you can play with it and see how you like it. I'm just going to keep this short. It's, yeah, it's visible. That's fine. All right, so let's click again one last time. So yeah, there you have it. That's your uh, status bar. All right. Until the next one, thanks for tuning in. Have a good day now. Thank you.